All right, we're back. We've made it to the Citadel. Caden's been injured and taken to this hospital for treatment. We've got to meet with the council, but first we're going to pay a visit to Caden. Uh, I have told Chakwas she needs to work in the lab. I did check my last playthrough, and yes, I used Chakwas in the last playthrough. So we use Michelle in this playthrough. But first, we have to convince her to get on to the Normandy. So let's do that. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michelle, it's been a long time. You've come a long way from that small clinic down in the wards. Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I met physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Major Alenko. In the interesting I dealt with this fist and thugs, of course, we did not go into the clinic and rescue her from fist thugs uh, because we didn't want to pick up Garrus then. But she still thinks, of course, we did deal with fist, but not the thugs that were directly threatening her. Garrus must have done it on his own. How is Caden doing? The head trauma was severe, but we reduced the swelling quickly. These types of injury can go either way. He hasn't regained consciousness yet, but his vitals are strong, so I'm optimistic. You can go see him if you like. He's just under all. Why does everybody wear gloves? How are your medical supplies holding up? We're well stocked now, but I can't say I'm not worried about the future. We've posted guards on our reserves. War profiteering has already begun. This war may leave a lot of injured people homeless. Can the Citadel clinics care for them all? We're fine now, but I'm worried. Every hospital on the Citadel is preparing for the worst. I hear the docks are tightly controlled, but we just can't leave people floating out there forever. With a center of this size, you must have a lot of direct reports. We've got 12 full-time doctors and over 50 support staff. It can be overwhelming, quite different from my days in the wards. How about a very different thing? We could use a doctor of your caliber on the Normandy. I'm honored you'd consider me, but I do have responsibilities here. The Normandy may be key to winning this war. If we fail, all could be lost. You'd make a huge difference out there with us. More than you can ever do here. Well... Our staff is excellent. The Presidium would be in good hands. I pack my bags and tell Dr. Arrington she's received a promotion. I'll see you on the Normandy, Doctor. See you there. I just need to make a few more preparations. So, the nurse tells me you've refused to bathe and you only want to talk to another Asari. Yes? Can I have a gun? I'm sorry. No. Maybe I could be transferred to another hospital then. Someplace unsecured. I could have a gun then, right? And no humans. And wherever you transfer me, it, it, it shouldn't have humans. The humans are our allies. You don't trust them? No, it's not that. I... How are my eyes? W what, what color are they right now? Maybe you could tell me what happened. I don't know if I'm going to collect that whole story I did in my last playthrough. It's a very touching story. stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splints still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required stracial bindings. Meet you back here. Hey, Caden. Don't know if you can hear me. Since you can't tell me to get the hell out either, I'm gonna take my chances. Get your ass out of this bed and back to your post, Major. Seeing you in action again reminded me you're a hell of a soldier. The Alliance could sure use you. I could use you. You need anything, Doc, let me know.
And that's an order. Shepard was never very close with Caden. Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. It's more kind of her duty as a commander to check in on her subordinates, make sure they're all right, than it is any kind of personal attachment here. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scale is... it would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculation suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? This guy's always been an asshole to me. It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And Udina's right. We need to stand together now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but 
We lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavan. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later, if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council wanted me to tell you. We've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Mm. Ah, yes, Reapers. We have to dismiss that claim. The Council. You saved their lives. And for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. Valern is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans, and there's a need there. You're a Citadel Counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. That sounds like you won't succeed. I helped you into this office because I thought you'd be effective. You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing, and with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know... I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first-name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Mm. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. I should go. I'll be here. I should go. I should go. I should go. Uh, is there anything in here? Probably be a couple of messages. That we can mark off as red. Oh, they're already marked as red. There's nothing here. I don't think. Nah. OK. 
Kalisa. I'm coming for you, Kalisa. There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Damn press. See, so you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, squeaky wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. I probably come back and do an investigate thing with him later. As I said previously, I don't feel obligated to get all the dialogue here. I did that my last playthrough. I don't think I need to do it again. Commander Shepard. Commander, the people of the Alliance have questions. Commander Shepard, Kalisa Bint seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? The same thing I've been doing for the past three years. Find a way to stop the Reapers. Get some help, Kalisa. I have work to do. That's right. Screw you, Kalisa. They don't care about you and your ten-point war asset. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Something like that? <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. What was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Hope it don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this than face the truth. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. Well, let's go pick up Allers.
Not only has the council been a pain in Shepherd's ass from since Mass Effect One, Kalisa has been too. But I've never smacked her. Well, not in this playthrough or not in the last either. I did smack her once. I can't say when we're deploying or where or why. But you're on the Normandy, right? I saw it dock. Was last seen on Earth. Did Commander Shepard escape? She did, didn't she? Why would she be here unless she's seeing the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard. I saw it dock. You can see it docked right there. <laughs> What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I suppose you want an interview? Even better. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. Now, if you smacked uh, Kalisa in Mass Effect 2, when you meet Allers here, uh, Shepard says, well, I don't have the best reputation with uh, reporters. And Allers says, yeah, well, I can help with that. Anyway, uh, that's enough for this episode. Are we... We're docked at the at the Presidium. But in, during the coup, uh, Joker says heading for Bay 1 something or other, 4 or something or other, Zakara Ward. We're not actually dock, docked on one of the wards. We are docked on the Presidium. You can see it over on that side. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, that's enough for this episode. We'll pick it up. We'll go back onto the ship, have a bizarre dream, and then talk with Admiral Hackett in the next episode. Until then, take it easy.